all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial on go for data science we'll be trying to see how to read files in golang so specifically we're trying to see how to pick some three types of files which is very common to work with and then we'll see how to read them in golang we'll see how to read tst file how to read csv file and how to read P pdf right so let's see the basic workflow so in reading files in golang the most important thing is that you must know how to first of all open the files right this, this is always the workflow right that is how it's supposed to be you open the file first then you pass or you process the file right so open the file there are two main methods for opening the files you can use io utils you can use os right to help you open the file then to pass or process the file there are a lot of libraries and then packages that you can use to help you process and then pass the file so let's see how to work with it so i'll just come back again to my location so I'll come back here we are working inside our, a different location so we'll just move to this place right so going to the, our go basics because this is part of go basics then i'm going to create a file called go reading files right dot go perfect so let's open a particular file so come back to vs code and then i'll open that file so it's inside go basics inside go basics we have this particular stuff here so we have go reading files and let's write some code hope the audio is okay okay so let's start with it so let's see how to do that so as we learned earlier on concerning the anatomy of any go program you must start with what our package main right then we're just going to create our main function our main function is going to be our entry point right that is all right so let's see how to read the file so let's do some simple input it will be important these two packages will be important this to help us open files OS right and then you can also use IO so that's IO util. Right, so these are the two main packages to help us open files in Go. So FMT, right? Hope everybody can see it well. Perfect. So that is the basic stuff you've been needing, right? So we need these two packages. The first one, IO utils, and then the second one is OS. So let's see the first method of trying to open a file. So we're trying to see how to open some simple file that we have so let me show you the file if i come back to my folder here i have three files i have a csv file i have a tst file and a pdf right so let's start with the tst file so we come back to our workspace then you start writing so the first thing is that you must first open the file right open the file that is the most important thing the next thing is that you pass or you process the file so let's see how to open a simple TSE file. So using the first method, method one. So the method one is we are using IO utils, right? So utils, IO input output util. That's what you're trying to use. So it just go with this. So I'll call that my content that I want to open. Then it goes, it takes an argument, another argument of the error. So the content, what I want to open, and an error, right? Let's use the wireless operator, the shorthand. Then I'll just go with IO util dot read. File. So we have a lot of things. We have read file, read all, all of this. So let's go with read file. Now pass in the file there. So the file I want to read inside is inside our data folder, which is as we saw here, it is inside this particular data folder here. So we are reading from this data folder. I want to read this example.tst file, right? So I'll come back and then let's go with this backslash example. Let's bring this one beside it. Example. What was the name we give to it? Example file.tst, right? Underscore. So come back. Example underscore file.tst. Right. So that is the file we are trying to open. Very simple. So this is how to open the file. So now we have opened the file, right? And we are logging out an error in case there's an error message. So it's going to be like this. So if there's an error, right? Or if there's no error, it's going to be if there is no error right if there is no error i want you to do something that is the big understanding if there is no error i want you to if there is no error i want you to do something right so this is if there is no error do something as you always do backslash do something right that is a basic understanding so if there is no error do something perfect but if there is an error i want you to tell me that there is an error so i can just use the log dot fatal we have fatal n L right fatal F for fatal format like print format, fatal N for like like print line right so you can use any of them so fatal L then you just pass in 
the arrow or you can just say that there's an arrow right passing that particular arrow very simple so that is something very cool right so we are using io util to open a file first then we are going to get the file the product of the file right then i'm going to process it so anytime you call you create a variable you should use it that is why it is underlying it so let's do something so there's something that we want to do is that we want to process and pass our file so in case i want to read this file let's first of all convert it to a variable so i can just go to fmt dot print line and i'll just go with string right if i read this one straight away this is going to be the format of a byte right so if i save it and i come back to my workspace so let's go into my let's cd into go basic cd into go basics right and then we're going to see our file there which is go reading files right then it's going to be like this so go run let's reduce it so that you can see it very well i hope it is clear enough for everybody to see so go run go reading file then let's run it if i run it it's going to open this particular file and then give us our result right so that is the first way of reading a file so you just use iu to open a file then you use any processing to process it and as you can see this one was able to process it but it gave us in the format of a byte right because iu tells is going to open it in its right format like in a actual format which is format of byte so to be able to convert all of these bytes right all these things into a string for you to be able to read it just go with string so all these numbers are bytes as we discussed earlier on in the full tutorial on bytes runes and then strings so i'm going to convert the entire stuff to strings right using the strings then it's going to convert the entire stuff to string so let's come back again so it's telling me that there's a missing error here but let's fix it right and let's go back again and read it right so this is another way so this one gave us the format of byte but now if i run it again it's going to print the actual stuff on it so that is the first method using it's like just giving us the string so just convert everything there into the right format so this is method number one using io to, to read a txt file now let's check the method number two this is going to be method two so method two is that we are using os so we are using os to open a file and then we are open to open the file then you process it so let's work on another example so it's going to be something like this so it's going to be my let's call it as my f right for file then i'll go with my error message then i'm going to use os file use the wireless operator os dot open you open the file right then i'm going to pass in the file that you want to open so the file you want to open inside data and inside the example file dot txt right the same file that you have so with os dot open you must always close it right just like with the with context in python or the f in python that we used to you have to always close it perfect. so we are going to open the file perfect and after opening the file we have to be able to give an error so let the same thing we did above copy the same thing here because the same thing if there is no error i want you to do something if there's an error tell me right the same thing i've been doing above perfect that is the first step so this is opening the file now how do we process it so we have to first of all defer to close it so f dot close this is very important right this is going to open the file and then close it so that you can be able to process it now let's see the next method so after we have opened it you have to also pass or process that particular file so we can use buffer io to help us with it to scan it right so let's try an example it's going to be like this I'm going to create a scanner so the scanner is going to be used to scan that particular file that has been opened then let's read it. so let's read it out it's going to be my scanner this is a long method anyway so that's why sometimes i feel like go is is good and cool but sometimes it's very verbose you have to do a lot of things so i'm using buffer buffer you dot scanner or that dot new scanner to create a new scanner right interface then i'm passing my file right so i'm creating a new scanner interface to connect with that file that has open then from here i can be able to read it right so in case i want to read it, i can just look through it to read it or use any format to read it so we are creating this scanner right so the scanner is going to scan the entire stuff now we can actually loop through the entire stuff to get everything from this our stuff you just can look through them using a for loop you can do something like this so for scanner dot scan right this is same a similar approach in case you want to be able to uh, how do you call it in case you want to get test input right 
then I'm going to say that this is what I want to do. So for scanner in scanner, right? I want you to scan it. So fmt dot print line now passing the scanner dot test, right? So now it's going to loop through the entire stuff and then give us a result. So let's give a an error message, right? So if the same thing I've been doing, if error, then scanner voice operator scanner dot error right you have error then you just move on to this option so error same thing you have been doing like the nail this thing you can omit if you want then just go log you know, this option log dot fatal you're going to log the error right so this is another way of reading your files in Golang let's save it hopefully there's not a lot of mistakes within our code yeah there is yeah so let's come back again and read it if there's a mistake we're going to correct it we're going to read the first one we're going to read the second one right so let's uncomment the first one out so i'll uncomment the first one that we are reading out this one out we're going to uncomment this entire stuff one out i said uncomment comment it out <laughs> okay so let's read it again Right again go run go read files and see that just read it perfectly for us so this is another way of reading it you have seen two main ways you can read a tst file right so the first one is that you just open a file very important either using the first method or the second method but i prefer the second method because this method is very simple right you just open the file using io util then you just process it as you want or you can just use os to open and then you just close the file after you have opened it then you can use scanner to scan it so this is for larger tests if the test is large you use this particular one but if the test is not that large you use the io util that is how to read tst file in golan so in the next session we're trying to see how to read csv file see you in the next session stay blessed bye